All right, so I wanted to put together information starting with what do the people who have died and obviously passed off, passed on, what do they, and the most thing, what do they want to share? Or what do they want to tell? Or what do they want to experience? Well, I want to uh, put together many of my experiences and just to tell to you uh, my experience and my understanding uh, from many people. So overall, the, in society, uh, to people who I have talked, uh, I don't classify myself as a medium, uh, not like the super pro uh, uh, people who speak to dead. I know one girl, uh, my, my best friend, she's a uh, She can clearly hear and see, for example, the name of the people who died, in which year he died. So what I want to say is that she can clearly see the names, hear the names, and get so much detailed information as if you are talking to truly to that past people. So you get the detailed information and those people that come to the uh, consultations, the you know the meeting with her, they are many times shocked uh, from the information they get. So uh, I don't classify myself as that. I more classify myself as uh, intuitive and can uh, like if I wish I can get uh, detailed information, but it takes lots of energy from me. So I stick to the. Uh, is there a really strong need to get this information or is just uh, you, know, uh, you just want some information like like uh, like a simple information so I, I really balance my energy out give uh, to people so but uh, just lately there was a new story and uh, that which opened up a new story and a new story that I wanted to share and it was a, a girl uh, who whose mother all of a sudden just, uh, you know, was doing something and just uh, died from, uh, I don't know how it's in English, but in Latvian the terminology could be infarct. It's basically all of a sudden heart, artery or vein breaks loose and, or something and just instant death. And she's sad, she's like, what happened? What happened? She, she doesn't understand. And, and I start like, okay, uh, I'm like, I like to get like, Okay, I see how the lady looks like. I want to ask her, show me the picture of the mother. She shows the video, show again. I make myself clear that the lady which I'm see, seeing is that mother. So I was like, okay, well, and then I say, she's, in this case, she's really exciting and really a happy lady all the time. She's like all the time doing something, doing something. She says, yes, that's her. I was like, okay, so I know that that's like a collaboration or a verification that this is in fact true. So I get more closer to, to the information. And uh, the thing is that uh, many people in society or whatever, uh, the people that I've come or to who I have, I've spoken to, uh, they are like, have received many words that people who died uh, just wander around here, uh, do stuff around here, you know, like just uh, some uh, dead people that like zombies or something and that they need to receive help to get to the higher realms or something something and uh, many times i consider this information completely false and completely it gives worries to the to the people that come to this and also many times uh, uh, many mediums or classified mediums they're just uh, I don't know, maybe in other places how it is, but here many, many times what I, I, what I feel is that they work by the effect of placebo or the effect that they want to get money out of you uh, depends on uh, the, the, the person. Uh, but uh, the thing is that if you put fears in somebody, okay, your relative is in danger, he needs help and I can do this for another hundred dollars or something, uh, many times from these fears the people just want to release those fears just pay the hundred dollars or something uh, Sometimes it's also this case and sometimes it's a case of uh, the medium uh, he wants to He 
has read many books uh, of esoterical books or information as esoterical. It, it depends, and uh, they are just like uh, ask how did she die, and uh, they are like, oh yes, it's related to the heart. So this person was not loving. Uh, this person definitely, and they figure out some kind of story themselves inside their head, and then they just tell, oh I feel this, I feel that, and uh, it's also something different. Uh, in, in my case, I'm like, uh, and also the case, the, the girl which I knew, uh, uh, which I tell, she is never of those cases. She is like, she doesn't know even what she's speaking of. She doesn't ask any question to you. She said, did she die from heart attack? Yes. Uh, her name is, for example, Lisa. She said, yes. Uh, she has two daughters, one small, one big, yes. Uh, the, the small daughter has white hair, the other has brown hair, yes. The other is for her husband, looks like her husband, yes. Her husband's name is Eric, for example, yes. She said, uh, and she just gives the names, okay, she died because of that. The energy was this, this was born, oh, you know, just like, you don't ask, you, I'm just telling you. Uh, in my case, I received some visions, some uh, uh, some intuition or something, and I, I like to verify whether I'm, uh, whether this coming or this person is, in fact, a, a relative that we're speaking to. So I like to clarify this. Um, so in this story, uh, there was a girl that she said that uh, she has been to other medium or different medium or some esoterical stuff, uh, uh, and those she got a little bit frightened from the information. She said, well, "What the hell are you talking about? This is uh, this is something completely wrong." She's speaking, and then she said, "Then she came to me and she's asking like." Uh, uh, what can you give me information? She didn't tell me at first that she was in other places. I said, well, yeah, she's, uh, and now I want to experience, uh, tell, tell the experience. The mother that, sh uh, that, that died, uh, I see the house in which she lives. Uh, I described the house, verified it, she says yes. I, uh, I s and then I asked, uh, can you give me uh, like something that I don't know and I can verify it with the, uh, with the girl? It's, her daughter, in fact, uh, she shows me that the lady was like, hey, and picks up the glasses. And she's like really proud that she has a beautiful glasses. And I asked her that she wear glasses because the images she showed, I didn't see any glasses, but uh, the picture, physical pictures, but from the images that she said, yes, she wear glasses. Okay, well, okay. And I said oh, that many the images which I see her, she's like in a kitchen. Uh, many times in the kitchen, she's like, yeah, she she always, and I said, uh, from the information and energy that I sense, uh, I can give uh, the understanding that she loved to make delicious food, like, but not like simple food. She said yes, and I was like, okay, now the information is verified. And then the next information, the important information, is that what has happened to the mother, where she is and what she does. And now that we get to the verification, now is the... You know, and the information is that uh, she has died, but to her, the death wasn't like a punishment or something. It was like a opening dimensions to her, and she is now in a place where can she be and experience more. And then she is in a yellow, golden, like white, like world with excitement. She is uh, highly excited all the time, excited. And uh, I tell this to the girl. She said, "Yes, yeah, she always was smiling." And then I said, the information with more is coming that that lady is, uh, uh, I don't know how to say it in English. Uh, when she has a difficulty, she's like, okay, let's don't think about the difficulties. Let's keep up the positive. And don't, don't pay attention to the difficulties. But she had difficulties and also the relationship. And I don't want to enter the relationship difficulties because I feel that there is like a sadness in this. Uh, in herself, that she kept uh, in herself, uh, like uh, something very deep. And I said, maybe this is related to the heart, because uh, it's something really deep that she held her with the relationships. And she said, yeah, there's a, there was a problem with the relationships, but we didn't get into this information. But the interesting stuff was that what she wanted to share is that uh, she had the idea that uh, dead people gaze around and like in uh, something like in a really bad situation, walking around, nobody needed uh, something with guilt inside, but she is completely opposite. She was, uh, not like she had other readings before, but she was, that lady was, with excitement that she's like always now, 
in, in other dimension, in other reality. There's information, there's something interesting. You can go and look and do there, not like before, that you were uh, limited to these physical beings. Like, there are more and more dimensions, and more and more possibilities for our character to, like, express herself. And I said, she had the offer uh, that she can go to the place of Essie, what did I call, uh, place of absolute presence. The, the crystal white light, uh, you know, the the home, the place of the soul's home. This is the name that I figure out, well, not figure out, but I come up uh, was being there. She had the offer to go there, but she's like, no, I want to experience more stuff here because it's so exciting. It's so exciting, like really positive and exciting stuff here. And then I ask whether she wants to reincarnate some point later. She said, no. Uh, uh, maybe later, yes, but no, not now, because she wants to do... Uh, you can do stuff right now, it's like, uh, you can go there, you can go there. Something in similarities that we can go quickly to Japan, then we can go quickly without any effort to Egypt. We can go quickly and see how the universe is made. We can go quickly and see all tons of things. It's like so exciting, you want to experience all this. It's like it's completely opposite from the being so sad. And she was, and the girl said that she started feeling her positive energy that she has lost a long time. And I said that, uh, uh, well, the, the story was about that, uh, how did that lady who went away, who actually died, uh, how is her life after death? And, uh, and the lady who came to the reading, you would say, uh, she was like uh, looking for like a release in energy, release of uh, guilt or sadness, whatever. And uh, she received that uh, the next day. She felt so happy, so enjoyed. Uh, and this is the most important thing that people come to reading. They want to get this clar clarification, get this verification, get this message that everything is okay. But sometimes it's not that you Hey, yeah, yeah, your grandmother is in highest love right now. Everything is fine. And she's like, yeah, you, every, you can tell this to everybody, but you need some kind of a grasp or some kind of verification that nobody knows and you get this. And uh, through the readings, uh, I, I never knew that. And I get many uh, verifications that I could not know uh, uh, that I... I well, I described the personality of her that without knowing her and uh, many things, uh, most of the things matched uh, but there were some things that I didn't understood. I saw that uh, she had a pet but I don't actually see the pet. Is it a dog or is it a cat? A grey, something grey color, I don't know what it, what it is. Uh, I, I had the cat, yeah, she had a cat but the cat was white, uh, brown uh, and orange or something like this. Okay, so this is the information I didn't clarify. And there was a name uh, that she said also, uh, one, uh, what I received, uh, one uh, person's name, woman's name, uh, which I which I asked, do you know this name? She said, uh, no. And I said, oh, I also, I don't know. So basically there are some information that uh, was, uh, maybe my mind popped it into, uh, maybe uh, uh, sometimes I, when I do some readings, another entity comes, uh, maybe I was guessing at some point uh, so it's a mixture of this so basically to avoid this I always want the verification 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 okay it's done now let's uh, the information that was coming through with also that information was like this and then I said this message so it's like I, I want to be honest uh, I don't want to uh, uh, like uh, and even if no information is coming, the entity is not coming, I just tell. And also, if a person is coming and then at energy I feel completely unpolite, I say I don't want to talk with that lady also. Uh, the energy is really low or really full with sadness and tears. Uh, I don't want to enter this field. I don't, it's, it's not for me. Maybe other, other mediums can read this also. So and there is also other stuff uh, about other things uh, like... Uh, the, it, when, a, when a soul goes to the Essie, but let's keep the name Essie, but it's more simple for me. Uh, in the Essie, but when, when, a, 
when a soul goes to Eshiva, and when that soul is communicated down to earth, it's a completely different person. Uh, you can get some information, but you have to put lots of pressure to it, because that soul is in an outrageous heaven-like place where the identity of you is destroyed, the personality of you is destroyed, you can pick up the information and you're in such a loving place, such a... without form, you, you know, like you're not even ex explain in simple words how does it feel there. And when a person, relative or something is coming to you, you don't see it as a relative, you see it as a soul that you truly love, a being that you truly love, a being that you see how he suffers, a being that you see the sadness points in him. And when this being is asking, what was the name of my relative? I want to see that you can get this information. And that being is seeing that this person is uh, uh, so... Uh, you can figure out the word yourself from this story. Uh, desperate, so sometimes aggressive, so sometimes he caught in situations. And you see the overall picture to it in a much higher perspective. And you see that it's not looking for a name. Uh, it's even, there's not even a reason to give a name. It's a huge, against the wall going. You just need the loving feeling. You just need the loving feeling. And that feeling comes through, and all I can say, or all that person can say in reading, is huge love. You cannot imagine how huge love the person is giving. Uh, and these souls that go there, they're basically are souls that had the opportunity to say, yes, I'm done with the physical realms for a long while or some period, I want to go up there. And then the informational body, the energetical body, is destroyed or wiped out or uh, uh, enlightened and and your true being is there and the true being doesn't have any more the I'm an aggressive person, I'm an intellectual person, I'm a sad person, I'm a happy person, I want to experience something from my mind, like I was saying the story, I want to experience this, 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 no. I want to just feel the God's love, the God's of, the love of creation, I want to be in it. So it's a completely different, uh, differing uh, also channeling for that. Uh, and uh, I believe you can get the information really clearly out of this, because in the white uh, light uh, you can get all the information you ever need. But the thing is that maybe your condition entering this world, or the reason to enter this world, is uh, unreasonable uh, to ask for something like uh, uh, should I wear the should I eat potatoes or uh, spaghetti which would I eat uh, you know and also the when I was channeling the Pleiadians they were referring to this that they received from the Essi but this energy of white light it's a tremendous loving energy it transcends everything and normally you would not get anything from them, anything other than just the beingness feeling and the loving feeling. But they get support and they receive support from them, this white light energy, uh, because that uh, uh, the human race was barely to extinct, becoming extinct. So uh, they receive this support that. Uh, then we will help you and only in the path that um, uh, prevent uh, humans to become extinct. Uh, human race has genetics or something. Uh, so it's basically there was a bridge made uh, only by this reason, only by this reason, not any else reasons. Or with that as well. And also uh, another thing is uh, I know uh, one lady, uh, my grandmother, uh, she's a lady that doesn't uh, well, well, she believes in uh, uh, she believes in esoterical stuff or something, uh, but she she's like you know keeps doubts in herself about many stuff, and uh, she doesn't know that I never told her that, but she has a huge love inside her against her mother uh, that died painfully in, uh, in really and they were really poor 
really poor and her mother died painfully leaving her as young uh, alone and her mother all her life was struggling to uh, support her you know you don't have anything to eat uh, really bad things uh, the war times and everything and uh, they have this uh, when she is uh, when she remembers that herself she feels actually huge love but in a way sadness uh, for her mother and that her mother is, uh, is gonna be the first uh, who will wait her grandmother who will wait her when she comes back to the spirit realm she will be she will be the absolute first that she will meet and uh, when I received this uh, information or this vision story or this channeling whatever it was that she is so longing for her mother so wishing for her mother so thinking for her mother and when she will finally meet her uh, again uh, she will feel like a, a, a tremendous loving feeling, tremendous. And this lifetime, the full lifetime itself, uh, was for many reasons. But uh, while I was, when I was channeling the Enrico, he was telling many stories that uh, the experience sometimes is it doesn't end on Earth while you're alive. It continues after the death. It continues the experience. So the physical uh, life is just one step that gives you the sadness, the whatever. And when you go there, and when you finally meet that person, and she is like uh, highly loving you, and, and uh, finally we meet, and look how big you are, and. Uh, What have you done in your life? Uh, like uh, your children? Grandchildren? like a tremendous, tremendous out amount of, uh, you know, everything what I uh, told you can imagine. And uh, this is something, this experience is one of those experiences that opens your heart, opens you to the essay. It's like uh, one of the soul's experiences that you can have. One of the many soul experiences you can have that opens you to the essay or the heaven, the God's world, whatever you would say. It's just I'm not a religious person, but I, I don't know how to put it in the words to describe this. So basically, uh, what I want to say is that also these cases, and uh, I want to tell another story, including the people that have passed away to the spirit world. Uh, uh, just like the world that I was saying in, before, the lady whose uh, mother was like doing this, doing this, doing exploring, and uh, there was another lady by accident that she, we were like trying to do channeling, uh, try to channel this, try to channel that, and they were stopping the channeling. I was like, okay, what else we can channel? And she said, I'll try a girl by the name Liga. I was like, whatever. Okay, and all of a sudden. I feel like da 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 and there comes Liga uh, dancing in uh, the national uh, like we have the national dancing uh, uh, the dancing uh, 
skirts, you know, long, uh, da, 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 and she's like dancing, 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 and uh, she's like, oh, look how many you are, look at you, and she like, you know, I'm channeling, I'm not like sending her through the body, but I'm receiving and laughing and understanding what she's doing. She greets you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and and then she looks at the one girl in the audience. Oh, and look how big you are. Look how big you have grown. And I feel that she lived somewhere near here. It's like uh, somewhere here. And one of the girls, that girls, look how big you are. She starts to just cry. Oh, I don't know if she's crying. And uh, I, then I understood that's her mother. And I instantly stopped the channel. And I, I don't want to get this deeply in emotions, but. You get, you have to have it in emotions uh, for the other person because if that person is struggling or feeling guilt or whatever the emotion may be, uh, that person needs to like release this energy through tears. Uh, so uh, crying is really common in uh, in uh, talking to relatives uh, and. Uh, and then she said, yeah, that's a perfectly uh, described her mother. But it's, it wasn't like I was like, okay, let's, oh, I see her, maybe she looks like this, I feel that, maybe she looks like that. I just like, pop, I'm image, she comes in, and she's like, okay, let's dance. And you just hear her voice, she's like, da, 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 let's do something, let's... And she was also in the golden yellow, like, uh, yellow, white uh, spirit world. And that spirit world I classify is uh, uh, between the worlds, another world for the people who went away, then they are in the spirit world, and they they have these all memories, all experiences, uh, they can easily talk with them, uh, when you die you meet them, you can share them, you can choose where to go another time, uh, but there are many many other worlds for the past people, so uh, people who went away, so uh, basically the story is overall uh, to just show you and tell you a little bit more that hey and many times when the first story which I tell the mother who had died she's like many times during the reading told me I'm alive I didn't went nowhere I'm still here with you I'm still here right here with you and uh, this was like many times heard so I want this to I want to you to say to you that you have never lost nobody. You have never, and you will never be dead and lost nobody. The overall passing away process uh, is affected by the energies that you hold into you. But the overall passing away process is uh, a huge, a huge awakening, and all of a sudden just know so much you just feel so much you just understand so much and you're just like amazed you are amazed and you want to talk with somebody you want to share this information with somebody who's down here and many re many mediums esoteric whatever they put some kind of energy blockages that no dead people comes to them and so on and so on and this is something nonsense imagine you die away and you uh, and you or to speak with your you know, relatives, children, whatever, and and, <laughs> and they're telling you, go away, I curse you, I put cross, uh, Jesus help me, or something. It's like amazing what the people minds can do. Uh, but still, it gives an exciting experience that you can, after then, have a laugh about, uh, you know, have fun with it. It's like fun. It's like so fun, and you are so exciting. Let's do another fun experience. Do another another exciting experience if we wish and then we get to a point that I'm done I'm going back home and like my brother brother was having experience where uh, he died uh, and then uh, if you go away back home to your soul's place uh, it's a huge question because uh, you will not be able to come back uh, just as simple as you have to have a assistance to do this, a guide's assistance or, or a higher assistance. So uh, this is it for the story. I'm almost here in my countryside. So uh, if you like.
like it, share it, and uh, if you have a experience or if you want to share experience, I encourage you to visit my website, which is artlineoffline.info. I always put it in the video description, and you just click the English flag, and you there's a forum available, and uh, I check that forum and share my experience also there. So enjoy.